Hey everybody! Well, uh, here we are. Uh, we've got a, a ton of mail to open still from, from, I'm sure a bunch of these are Christmas cards and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to do a live stream, but I, I'm having trouble with our live stream software. It's called Livewire, and lately it just does not want to connect to YouTube, so I'm not sure what's going on. I probably maybe have to download a new version of it or something. I, I don't know. I just haven't had time to really look into it. So instead of a live stream, we're just going to put out this quick mail video. One thing that's nice is it has been getting nice outside. Spring is on the way, the snow is melting. Yes. And we're really hoping that we're gonna be able to get out there soon and uh, start vlogging again. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. Hopefully yeah. they lift the COVID restrictions uh, a little sooner this year than they did last year and we're yeah. able to, to get out there with our masks on, of course, and, and do some thrifting. Until then though, let's check out a bunch of these uh, letters and cards. Okay. This is from Juanita in Hicksville, Ohio. Eh, it's a Christmas card. <laughs> Have yourself a happy little holiday. Love your videos. Merry Christmas, Juanita. Thank you, Juanita. Sorry it took us so long to open it. <laughs> Next one has no return address on the envelope. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here, though. They're stereo views. Jackie Ooh. from BC says, I found these in a box lot. I have never seen religious ones before. Here, hoping for a COVID free sales in 2021. Absolutely. Thank you, Jackie. Those are so neat. And we got a bunch of, uh, sent us some stereo views for our stereoscope. That's awesome. I, I love these things. This next one's from Donald and Deanna in Ferndale. I think it's Michigan. Ooh, another Christmas card. Ooh. Ooh, some Canadian money in it. Some old Canadian money. Very, yeah. So, One and two dollar bills, which yeah. we don't have anymore. No. Oh, and some fives Ooh, too. Oh, wow. So here's, Thank you. here's the old one and two dollar bills that Canada has since changed over to coins for their one and two dollar. Yeah. Uh, denominations and a five dollar bill is the lowest the lowest bill we have now a little bit of money for yes. us that's great awesome we'll use that uh, in our picking thanks so much happy new year we had this Canadian money left over from our last trip to visit relatives up there decided to donate it to you we enjoy watching your videos on YouTube eh? <laughs> <laughs> stay safe Deanna and Dawn thank you thank you guys a eh? A, eh? yeah. Oh, oh. This next one is from Mrs. K.S. Dollar in Bristol, Tennessee. It's another Christmas card. Oh, oh. And there's something in it. It's like an old photo. Dad and horses. Love your live feed. First time I remembered you two crack me up. I love your house. Come to Bristol, Tennessee, and there's a great end. There's great antique shops. The picture is of my grandpa and his horses. Aww. I guess 40s. Take care, stay safe. Your YouTuber friend, Karen. <laughs> she says her handwriting isn't very good. I thought it was pretty good. We could <laughs> it's read better it. better than mine. <laughs> right on. Thank you so much, Karen. This next one is from Holly in London, Kentucky, I believe. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas, I'm glad I'm a good boy. Isn't that cute? It's a postcard. Old one. Yeah. It's got 1923 written on the back of it. So it's 98 years old. I hope Santa will bring you as many presents as this little boy has found in his stocking. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Dear Robin Karen, I have been watching your channel for years. You both seem so kind and funny, easygoing people. I love your house too. If my husband would agree to it, Mine would be the same. <laughs> I enjoy the old photos, but they creep him out. And I have started a collection of the uranium glass because of learning about it on your channel. I fell in love with it, and I got my husband into collecting it too. Good job. Awesome. Isn't it fun collecting it? It gets addictive real fast. Yeah. May you both have a safe and merry Christmas. Holly, P.S. I have included a vintage Christmas postcard I thought you might enjoy. Yeah, it's great. So cute. We love it. Yes. This next one looks like a card from Deborah in Beloit, Wisconsin. 
for both of you, another nice Christmas card. Oh, and she's put a check in here for $50. Oh my goodness, to help us continue on with our grad sailing and thrifting, that is so generous, Thank Deborah. You, Deb. Thank you so much. That will go uh, into the uh, the pool of, of cash we use to go thrifting with and possibly some of it will go in the, the tank of the truck as well to, <laughs> to help us get around to the sales. When Christmas comes around and loved ones gather, whether it is in person or in thought, we focus on the things that truly matter and joyfully give thanks for all we've got. Giving heartfelt thanks for each of you in this season of warmth and togetherness. I hope you both have a wonderful Christmas. Love you lots. Deborah, a.k.a. Mummy. <laughs> yeah, I call her Mummy, too. Do you call her Mummy? Mummy, too, because, yeah, so we've been chatting and we've become, like, super good friends. Thank so. you so much, Deborah. That Thank is you, so Dad. nice of you. And another letter here or card. Oh, I feel something in it. From Barter Mania. Christmas 2020. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping us all entertained and distracted during the chaos. Irish luck for 2021. Oh, look at that. We got a little Irish uh, uh, three leaf clover there. Like a, a Christmas tree ornament. Yeah. And, and Barter Mania sent a sticker, a Barter Mania sticker, buy, sell, trade. We'll Travis. Have to check them out online, Barter Mania. Right on. Yeah. Thank you so much, Travis. Ali from Turkey sent us something. Oh boy. That is a long way to send a package. It is. And it's expensive. So we really appreciate it. Do you want to show that before you look at it? Yes. Uh, let's show Ali's. So Ali has a great YouTube channel and uh, I, he's a bit of a celebrity in Turkey. He's been on their morning show. They've got like a morning show, like a Regis and Kelly style morning show. And he's been on there several times doing his thing. He does crafts and uh, Make some beautiful. Uh, what did we watch? A um, box. Yeah. That one we and then some, just some other stuff too. But yeah, just he's cool he's fantastic. Stuff. So yes. I'm gonna try and save that sticker from our friend Ali in Turkey. Come on. <laughs> Got a card here. Oh. Nice panoramic card. Dear Robin Karen, I'm so happy again to reach you and sending you this humble present. I wish you to reach all your dreams and what you're looking for. Please stay safe. I wish one day we will meet. Kisses and hugs, yours, Ali. Thank you so much, Ali. That's so nice. So nice of you. Look at how we wrapped that, too. That's nice. His his business cards. Wow, wow, they're nice. Are they ever nice? They look like gift cards, like they, they thick like that. Yeah, the they? thick with the rounded kind corners. Of and Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Those are some high quality cards he's no got kidding. there. And look what he sent. Oh, this old vintage postcard. Nice. Here's another one. And then we have another wrapped. Wow. Ooh. That is a, a drawing. Did he do it? I don't know, but it's very nice. Very good. Wow. Way better than I could draw. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if Ali drew this or not. In either case, it, it's it, beautiful. It is. Look at their outfits. Really like that. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Ali. You're such a great supporter of our channel. Here's a package from Pam in Tucson, Arizona. Now this, she sent us a message to say that this was used in her family. It's a christening gown. Oh, neat. Yes. Is that them? Yeah. Pam and John, greetings from Arizona. Isn't that nice? What a cool picture, and a tiger. And a tiger, wow. wow. Look at that, and a big long letter on the back. Sorry it needs ironing, I don't have an iron, she says. <laughs> oh, I'd like to get rid of mine too, so. I told you the backstory of this, and since there. there will be no more christenings in the family, I can't think of anyone I'd rather cherish this than you two. Aw. I'm originally from Brighton, England. Lived in Baltimore, Maryland, USA for the past 42 years. I've lived in Tucson, Arizona, and have relatives in Calgary, Alberta, in Canada. From your friend Pam and John. That is such a... <laughs> Thank yes. you, guys. That is awesome. Yes, Pam sent me a message about this a while ago, and we just haven't opened it. Yeah. Yet. But yeah. yeah we, a lot of this stuff came few, right after our last video. Yes. And then we've been hanging on to it. Look how long it is. This is so cute. That will go with my collection. You can give it to me. That's the slip part. Okay, that goes underneath. Yep. And then this. Oh, look at that. 
And it's got yes. the bonnet here too, yeah. is that what that is? Yeah, the matching bonnet. <laughs> oh no, I think that's the, like a, the collar part. Oh, okay, almost like a bib sort of yeah. thing. It's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, this is awesome. Yeah, several in her family have worn it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. It's a heavy one. Oh, that's from Calvin. Yeah, from Calvin. He's in Brantford, Ontario in Canada. There you go. Oh my gosh, it is heavy. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh my goodness. It says Ontario is under lockdown order since December 25th. It's pretty much the same thing here. Yeah. Oh, hat, oh, hat pin. pin. He knows what you like. He, yeah. I try and find things for him, and he tries to find things for me. Cool. With the glass head. That's nice. The best item of all, Karen will <laughs> say, is the hat pin. That's what it says in the letter. An old spoon. He says, the silver spoon he found in an abandoned house in his town, which is now gone. It was built in the 1860s, the house, I'm guessing. Yeah. And it was sitting... Uh, the spoon was sitting on a beam. Oh. It was sitting on a beam on the wall that was caved in. Neat. Mm. Look at that. The edge of the spoon is worn down. Or unless it's meant to be. I don't think so. I think it's worn down. Oblong like that. Oh, oh another teapot. Yeah. A little personal. They're so pretty. I don't see anything in here about the teapots. Oh. Oh. Little angel or cherub. Did it break? I'm feeling it's supposed to be. Oh, he lay. He looks like he was attached at one point. Yeah. We can maybe be. attach him again. Yeah. Good old Canada Post. Yeah. Just kicking those packages down the road. Yeah. Ooh. Camel. It's heavy too. Like the wood is really dense like a flag, kind of flag. Yeah, it's got a signature on it or some signatures. Yeah. For you, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> the letter says that for me, uh, Calvin found two autographed items. The f one is a Canadian flag. Wow. Which, that's what this is. Yeah, and there's one of the signatures, but there's several. And another one is a, he says, is a jersey. Wow, yeah, see there's... The flag is full of autographs, not sure who. Yeah. But he knows I collect autographs, so... Cool. You sent that to me. Thanks, Calvin. That's awesome. Clan, Clanbrook. Glan. Oh, Glanbrook. I'm sorry. The minor hockey team. Wow. Got some signatures on it. I think there was one here up on the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's one. That's pretty neat. Thanks, Calvin. Oh, look at those things. Wow. Tiny menorah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> says there are two white boxes. Within this box, number one for Karen. Yeah. Is because she's number one. <laughs> as soon as I saw them, they were screaming Karen. I hope they oh. made it to you okay. Looks like it's in one piece. Super pretty. All glass. Yeah. The Tiny little stopper. Wow. Oh, it's a perfume bottle. Yeah. And it's not wow. broken. Wow. The dabber. Look at that. And this, Did it, it made it in one piece as well? Here is, yeah, oh, yeah. So. Yeah, it's a matching one, I think. Isn't that pretty? Neat. Thank you, Calvin. I love them. He says the second white box is for me. It's heavy. <laughs> wow. It's, it's broken now. Whoa. Oh, is, that's a... Like a seal stamp. It, I think it, there's a picture of it on the... Private Dominion Company. Telephone... He, tel he, telephone Rentals Limited. He kind of told me about it because it's telephone? Yeah, it's, I, I work at the local telephone company. I've had a career there for over 20 years as a technician. And so I, I collect old phone stuff. Well, this is great. Look at that. Is that ever neat? And so here's the, the stamp it, it would produce. I don't know if it'll show up very well. Thanks so much, Calvin. That's some solid oh, metal yeah. there, hey? So that, the Wonder Book of Ships, says it dates from around 1914, and it means a great deal to him. It talks about the RMS Titanic, oh. 
which he has family ties to her and her sister ships. Uh, his three times great grandfather on his father's side uh, was a woodworker and did some of the woodwork within the first class. And his father's mother's side, her four great grandparents were in first class and four went over. Only two made it to New York. That's an oldie. War of 1812, The Western Hooves of Thunder. It's signed by a good friend of his and was made for kids to tell them about the War of 1812. Signed by the author, by the looks of things, Zig. Yeah, Zig Misiak. Yeah. This is one of many books he did. He also did the first ever biography of Jay Silverheels, who was known for his role as Tonto on the TV show Lone Ranger. Wow, that's oh. kind of neat. Right on, thanks. All right, guys. Well, that's everything for this uh, package opening. If you guys want to send us a package, send it to Bargain Barons, P.O. Box 20055, Cornwall Center, Regina, Saskatchewan, S4P 4J7, Canada. Thanks again, you guys. Can't wait to get out there and, and, and get back to those garage sales. Hopefully, we're only a few weeks away from that. Until then, keep on picking, you guys. Thank you. And on to the next.